So there we have a capacitor. Uh, the symbol for a capacitor on the DMM is going to look like this. Sometimes it's drawn this way. And on this device, you can see the two parallel lines for the capacitor. This is a 100 microfarad capacitor. And again, I'm connected to the posts instead of trying to connect to the actual capacitor. Now over here on the digital multimeter, I want to remember that this is the wrong setting because this does not measure capacitance. So I want to move the red probe over here to the capacitance symbol. So I'm going to pull this out. And be careful, pull these straight out and push them straight in. And you want to make sure it's in fully engaged. And then I'm going to turn my device to capacitance, which is right there. Now this is going to take it a little bit. It has to read the capacitance. And so if it reads zero for a minute, that's OK. And it'll eventually settle on. 123 microfarads. Well, I'm pretty sure that this said 100 microfarads. What we'll find is our capacitors are not very good in the sense that the value it has a pretty high tolerance, so it's up at 123 uh, microfarads. 122.9. Something I forgot to mention on the other video is the resolution is going to be the last digit measured. So we can measure here to 0.1 microfarads, okay? because it's counting by 0.1s. And again, the range buttons will affect it if it's having a hard time finding the range. So just to review, when measuring capacitance, make sure your probe is plugged in here for red and here for black. Turn the selector to capacitance. Give it a moment to settle in on the capacitance and then find the uncertainty or the resolution by the last decimals displayed and the proper units. In this case, it's microfarads.